segment of the 2013 Hot Rod Power Tour brought to you by Chevrolet Performance and driven by Continental Tire. It's a two day, one day start right here at the University of Texas. We're gonna take you on a whirlwind stop of everything you'll see right here. You gotta come with me. Let's go take a peek. Well, I've wandered over to the Chevrolet Performance booth, and if you're any kind of hot rod guy, you're like me. You played with them, you loved them, you had orange track laying all over your bedroom, and it's Hot Wheel tracks. I mean, this is what every little boy wanted, and I want one too. You can paint your driveway orange, and just sit there and pretend to be eight years old, and just enjoy what it was like to see what you've always loved, cars come to life. Here's the beauty of the Hot Rod Power Tour. You come to this and it doesn't matter if you go to one leg or if you long haul. There's all types of cars. It's every type of automobile you could possibly imagine. We're walking through literally thousands of cars and one of the things that makes it special is it doesn't have to be perfect. All it has to be is on the tour. We're over here at the Lucas Oil Dyno and you know one of the things that you can really be called out on is how much power do you really make. You know you see the funny things on Facebook. I mean, if you want to go out and prove to people that you make a thousand horsepower that you brag about on the street, there's only one way to do it. Put the car on the dyno, put your money where your mouth is. This is the GM Motor Medic. Each and every year, General Motors comes with their Chevrolet Performance Group to make sure that if you break down, it don't matter if you're Chevrolet, Mopar fan. Heck, I bet you if your Datsun broke down here, they'd help you fix that too. But this is what's great about this. If you break down, there's always someone's gonna help you. And from sounds of this, a little bit of help, a little bit of tune, they'll be back on the road too. It wouldn't be a power tour day if we didn't pick our pick of the day. Now this is Patrick Gravette behind me is his 1929 Model A. Uh, blending old with new, my friend. You got a turbocharger, you got a 5.3 LS in the in between the rails of a 29A. Man, what were you thinking? Mm, built one a few years ago and, and sold it. Thought I had it out of my system and, and uh, this is what happened after I uh, had to start again. It's like a bad sickness. I think you have a disease, right, my right, friend. Right, that's right, that's <laughs> right. Um, my family's in the timber business, so um, I wanted a tall tire, and I kept looking at the, the log trucks and the car, and I said, I can make that work. So uh, this is what we ended up with. Inside the cab, I have a full roll cage. The car is on air ride suspension, so room is limited, so I used the inside of the roll cage as the air tank. Every joint is drilled so air can pass throughout the, the roll cage. And uh, based on my calculation, I've got about seven gallons of air storage. Got back seats. Um, the seats are on track, so they'll slide forward so the kids have room to, to actually use the back seats. But when they're not here, I slide the seat all the way back for, for more comfort. Excellent. What is your favorite part, you personally, about the Power Tour? Just seeing all the different cars. Uh, I like the traveling, uh, you know, the, the from, from town to town getting to, to meet them on the road, um, every aspect of it. All right, we're wrapping up the start of the 2013 Hot Rod Power Tour right here. Painless Performance set up this great cruise night at the Coyote Drive-In to watch none other than American Graffiti. As for us, we're tired. We're going back to the hotel because guess what? We got six more days and six more cities. It's only just begun. Stick with us. Hot Rod Power Tour day two, and we're ready to get rolling on the route. I'm on top of the Hot Rod RV. Drivers meetings going on. Hundreds of people have shown up, probably more than any other Power Tour I've been at. It's amazing being up here and looking at the enthusiasm for this year's cruise. And you know what? It's only gonna get started from here. So sit back, get ready, let's go have some fun. I want to give you a quick snapshot on what I'm driving on my first leg. Continental hooked me up with this 2010 Dodge Challenger King Edition. Lots of goodies under the hood, but for now I got to get on the road because I got to catch up and lay a little rubber. Stick with me. 
Really liking this Challenger and all 800 plus horsepower, damn near 900. So I'm gonna go down, get to where we can talk to some more people that are standing on the side of the road. I'm really always blown away by that as you see just hordes of people sitting on the side of the road enjoying traveling circus that is the Hot Rod Power Tour. You know, it's gonna be neat to see what they think and what they say. And, you know, why do you sit on the side of the road for five hours watching cars go by? I know. We are in Pittsburgh and we made a little quick stop to check out some uh, friends. Our guys uh, from Hot Rod West, the, uh, the man of all things photography, is going to take some cool shots of these cars. Looks like we got 66 Impala, uh, another, another Impala, and that is a Biscayne. Excellent. So the class of, class of 66, sort of. Well, we're out here on the road somewhere between University of Texas and Texarkana, and uh, I gotta tell you, man, I, ever since the pony cars had their resurgence, and uh, luckily, even though Chevrolet was last to join the party, the Challenger is the car that kind of really embodied all that, and they certainly, in my mind, uh, got the look just right. Now, when you add tons of horsepower and lots of boost, it just gets that much better, but, you know, we're cruising along, and that's what I love about Power Tours. You don't have to go out and do big smoky burnouts, and those are fun, we'll get to those in a second. The cool part is just cruising along with this thing in sixth gear, humming along, listening to some tunes. Everybody who sees me on the Power Tour next year, or if you see me at any other Hot Rod or Car Craft or any of the great events, just walk up and slap me. You can't. I give you permission. Just walk up right in the face, because I deserve it for being so lucky. If you think about it, I get to drive a different car on Power Tour every day for seven days, and when you start off with an 800 horsepower plus at the rear wheels Dodge Challenger that was designed with Richard Petty from Petty Enterprises. I mean, he was involved with the actual development of this car. This is truly the first King Edition Dodge Challenger. Now, yeah, you can have Petty Enterprises and you can go there and have them, you know, build you whatever you want them to build you. But the difference is this is the first one. That's what's kind of cool. Well, we've been talking about burnouts, and with access to machinery like this, it wouldn't be right if I didn't at least do one, right? I mean, I, I gotta do one, right? He said I could. All right, guys, we made it. We're here at the pilot booth. They needed the Challenger. We got here, well, a little late. You know, that's shenanigans. We put about 230, 235 miles, depending on my wheel speed when I was doing that big burn off. But, you know, it's about this venue. Incredible cars, incredible people. We got to go take a look around. Come follow us. Tour if I didn't find something I like. Now under the beautiful sky that is sky blue, I found a B1 sky blue Plymouth Duster. Feel awesome, man. What are you doing, brother? I'm doing well, sir. Um, power Tour long hauling, and yep. this thing stood out to me, man. It's just, I don't know what it is about this thing, but it's just powder blue love, man. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I'm not trying to be all geeky, but it's I like right. the car, man. Well, I like it too, obviously, and I understand that the baby blue paint, you know, is different and a little silly. But uh, I like it, and I just wanted to do that car because I had it, and I tried to make it a little more menacing with the metallic gray stripe, and uh, and that's that. Obviously, you did a lot of things for creature comforts, like made sure you had a huge radiator in the mm -hmm. thing, so you're not fighting that stuff. Yeah. Uh, six one out of an SRT product, I assume. Yeah, it's, it's an 06 SRT8 charger that somebody cracked up somewhere, and uh, I bought the uh, engine and transmission and all the electronics and all everything I needed for it. And uh, I ended up using the NAG-1 is the name of the transmission that a lot of people don't use because it's kind of a pain. But once you get it set up right, and uh, it's very cool. All right, Bill, thanks so much for letting us play around with your duster. Really appreciate it. Love the look. Love the color. Don't change the interior. Uh, your wife's on the right track, man. Yeah, Be different. That's going to wrap up today's car pick from right here on Hot Rod Power Tour.
At the Texarkana Fairgrounds, there was everything you could ever want to see. You had Courtney Hansen and Linda Vaughn signing autographs in the Chevrolet Performance booth. You had Christy and Vic Edelbrock at the Edelbrock display signing posters and giving away DVDs. And so many great cars, you would never see them in one day, even if you walked around twice. The Midway was incredible, the people and the energy was fantastic, and it's proving once again, you have to be on the Power Tour.